welcome to City Hall Plaza. We're here to send off these young men in the best Brockton way that we can send them so that they can come home with the championship. So now please, everybody put your hands together and welcome the champions! Uh, folks, can we give these young men another round of applause? I don't know if you know this or not, but this is the furthest any soccer team from Brockton High School has gone, so it's with a great deal of pride that we're all here celebrating this. This has nothing to do with any one ethnicity. This is all about the city of Brockton. We're one people, one family, one city, and we're all thrilled to be here because these are the best ambassadors we could have. And these little ambassadors, some of them are bigger than me, but not as, not as heavy, but, uh, but these ambassadors will go out and represent our community in a way that we have never done before. So with that, I want to invite um, Mariah Andrade to come to the microphone and honor our great country, our, our great, great United States of America with a beautiful rendition of the Our National Anthem. And I want everybody to stand. We all, all need to stand and face the flag and salute the country that we all love. Go ahead right there. somebody that actually served in the military and somehow gives me goosebumps. So go up front, go up front. Go up front. Yeah, no, step forward, yeah. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mariah. But please put your hands together and welcome to the microphone the leader of our city, the chief executive officer of our community. Please put your hands together and give Mayor Bill Carpenter Woo! a round of applause. Well, good evening and welcome everybody. I'm, I'm going to be very brief. I know there's a few people that want to say a few words. Uh, first of all, to the team, I want to congratulate you on a great season so far. So far. Because there's still another game to play. I, I want to remind you that tomorrow you're not just representing your team, and you're not just representing your school, you're representing the city of Brockton tomorrow, and I know that you'll do a great job representing us both on and off the field tomorrow night. But we are, we are the city of champions, right? We are the city of champions. So when you're riding home on the bus tomorrow night, coming back from Worcester State, 
Please make sure to bring that championship back home to Brockton with you, all right? Let's go, guys. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'm also going to call to the microphone, um, you know, the city has two sides of government. You've got the mayor and the executive branch, and you've got the city council and the legislative branch. And representing us all on the city council, please put your hands together and welcome Councilor from Ward 1, Tim Cruz, a supporter of the Brockton High School soccer program. Thank you, Councilor. It's great to see this crowd here tonight, but it's really great to see you guys. I'm not speaking here tonight because of a city councilor. I actually played soccer at Brockton High School back in 19... <laughs> you guys are the culmination of about 40 years of work. And I have to tell you, there are coaches, Phil Fortin and Don Brocious. There are players, Jose Gomes and Dale Peterson, that almost got to where you were. And in the last couple of years, my son Michael Cruz was one of the co-captains of the... 2016 team, they lost in the South Sectional Final. Some of you guys know my son Joe Cruz, who was co-captain two years ago, and we lost in the Eastern Regional semi in the Semifinal. We thought we had the state championship this year, but after watching you guys play early this year, I turned to my son and said, this is the team that's going to do it. This is the team that can, they can bring that championship trophy back. I was at a game earlier in the year with a friend of mine, and he looked at me and said, Jesus, it's like watching a BPL team. Two touches, two touches, they move the ball, and they score. And that's what we're going to do. Two touches, move the ball, and we're going to score, and we're going to bring back tomorrow a trophy that a lot of us have been waiting for for 45 years. The state championship trophy for the kids of Brockton. You guys play in what has become the capital of soccer in New England. There were 19 kids playing college soccer from Brockton this year. 19 kids. Next year, I imagine, coach, how many seniors we have? Three? How many seniors? Well, next year, so there'll be 19, two graduated, and then we'll pick up another 10 or 12 from this group playing college ball next year. There's two things we do at Brockton High. We grow good soccer players, but we grow good students who are ready for college. You guys are going to be there next year, but... You're going to be able to go into those, those teams next year and say, yeah, I played for the state championship last year. I played for the state championship boxes. Go, home, go up there tomorrow, bring us back a trophy. Good luck, and we're really proud of all of you guys. Thank you, Tim. Ah, I see that. Uh, see, I, I too played soccer at Rockton High School, but they didn't give me a jersey. I don't know what happened, but I didn't get one. It must be Kathleen Smith's fault. <laughs> Speaking of Kathleen Smith, she's our superintendent of schools. You guys know that? Yeah. You guys know that? Yeah. yeah, you better know that. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen? You guys are in some serious trouble. So please put your hands together for our superintendent, <laughs> Kathleen Smith. Thank you, Counselor. You are already champions in our hearts. We have watched you on the field. We have watched you in your classes. Today I had the good fortune of watching what you did at Brockton High, going through every one of those cafeterias, exciting every one of your classmates. You're so inclusive. We are so proud of you. Thank you, Coach Furtado, all of the coaches. You are Brockton's best. Bring home that trophy. Thank you, Kathy. You know what else she told me a few minutes ago? You guys win this thing tomorrow, you can take Monday off. Blame it on Mike Thomas. Maybe Mike Thomas told me that. I'm not exactly sure. But you know, the, uh, our deputy superintendent, Mike Thomas, has been very, very helpful. When um, Ollie Spears uh, called me up and said, you know, we ought to do something for these kids to send them off in, 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 in the right way like we used to do back in the days, Mike was there and Mike said, whatever we need to do to make this happen, let's do it. So you know what? Please put your hands together and we're all cool. Uh, your Deputy Superintendent, Mike Thomas. Thank you. So tomorrow at 1.30, seven busloads of your classmates, your friends, your family, fans are rolling out of Brockton High School to support you in Worcester. So make us proud. And Mayor Carpenter, Councilor Cruz, Councilor Rodriguez, 
If you can help us make sure there's a float for this team during the parade, Done. when they bring back the championship trophy, we'll make sure we'll have a float for you and Coach Ricardo. Thank you for being such a wonderful team and great kids. I'll tell a quick story. My wife's friend, uh, her, her son was the best player for Silver Lake. You beat them a couple games ago. She sent me a text and said, we played 20 games this year. This was Silver Lake. And we've never played a team that was as good, but as, not as classy as Brockton. She couldn't believe. <laughs> she couldn't believe how you represented the school in the city of Brockton, which such grace and such class, and we really appreciate it. Good luck tomorrow, God bless, and bring back the trophy. Thank you, Mike. You know another supporter that you guys have is your athletic director. Did you know that? You guys know that, right? This man will do anything for you. So put your hands together and welcome Mr. Thank you so much. Hey, and just to build upon what Mr. Thomas said, you know, just how you carry yourself on and off the field and in the classroom, it's a reflection on you, but it starts with your coach. And I would just like to thank Coach Furtado for everything you've done. You know, you set the bar so high. And Hermenio and I, we go way back. He was actually the soccer coach at South Middle School my first year as principal over there, which is 13 years ago, believe it or not. And it was no surprise then, no surprise now. I knew we had something special over there. And when I knew he was the varsity coach, said, it's just a matter of time before we bring home the first state championship to the city of champions. So, tomorrow, one more game to go, all right? We are so proud of you, what you've done already, but it's not what we've done, it's what we're about to do. And that's gonna be bring home the trophy. And with that, Coach Fittato, come on up. mention we were we went undefeated in the south that year 2009 uh, thank you Moses for putting this together thank you the mayor uh, superintendent Mike Thomas everybody this is has been amazing the support we received everything we, we asked we got it we went into the, we wanted the pool we got the pool the cafeteria to feed the kids we got the cafeteria the support has been amazing and the kids have responded uh, this team is built on three concepts. We make each other better. Every player on this team has the primary role to make every other teammate better than what they are. We make, we respect opponents. We play in a way that after the game, our opponents will come and ask for our autograph. <laughs> and we we play in a way that referees will actually believe they're good. <laughs> and these kids have, they are amazing kids. They are not kids, I don't call them kids, I call them men. It's not boy soccer, it's men's soccer. Because we're mature, we play with a level of maturity, we defend, and defending has been the key. Uh, a lot of times at this age, they forget that defense is part of the game. But because they support each other, they defend together, they defend as a group. It's a teamwork. And this year I said there's no individual statistics. It doesn't matter who scored the most goals or makes the assists. It is the team. I don't know who has how many goals. I don't keep track of those. I know that we pass the ball, we share the ball, and we have fun. And there's no, there's no pressure. There's no pressure. We go slowly. The goalkeeper gets the ball, passes it passes to the defender and a lot of people are not used to this style and they get really nervous when they see us moving the ball slowly but you take risks and you collect the benefit that's what we did and thank you players you are fantastic human beings and that's why you've been successful <laughs> now I'm gonna introduce my captains the captains are the players that I select and I tell them, I choose you because I can yell at you. Yeah. And they're the first one I'm going to yell at. 
and Junior is probably, he knows that very well. So Junior, go. And then we have Brandon. Brandon, help us stay organized and very detailed. And lastly, my but not least, we have Derek. Okay, now we're gonna go and bring everybody up here. Jalen De Rosa. Jalen is only 15 years old. He's a sophomore. He played varsity last year. His freshman year. Brian Belus. Pinto, Daniel, and Bradley, Leandro, Carlos, Luis Pinola. He's also 15, very young. Uh, there's Eric, Reno, Jonathan Rodriguez. Oh, See, we've got a, a great group of kids. Well, I'm going to call them kids. I'm 100 years old. I'm allowed to call them kids. And uh, we are very, very proud. And as I said in the beginning, this isn't about one ethnic group. It's not how many, you know, Cape Verdeans you have, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, or whatever. This is the Brockton team. And I want everybody to remember that the first, the first flag that you defend is the Brockton flag. Because if we don't defend the Brockton flag, no one else defends it for us. So the, fir the first flag, although we love the old glory, but the first flag you defend is the Brockton flag. Because we Brocktonians are the only ones who are able to defend the Brockton flag. And with that, I want to call to the microphone somebody that's instrumental in pushing all kinds of issues, ideas, and thoughts in our community. And that person is Ali Spears, whose idea was to put this stuff together so that uh, we can go out here and send you guys off in a nice way. So, Ali. Let's go! 
Let's go! Get hype! Get hype! You ain't hype. You ain't hype enough. You ain't hype enough. Yo, hit him, hit him with something hard. Hit him with something hard. Let's go. Definitely, definitely. So, yo, these young men right here, everybody always says bad things about Brockton, right? They're like, yo, bro, you live in Brockton? But, yeah, I live in Brockton. You know why? Because they live in Brockton. This is Brockton right here. Yeah. We represent Brockton. We make Brockton what it is. When we wake up every day, we Brockton. When we go to sleep every day, we Brockton. When we go to Worcester to get that chip, we Brockton. Yeah. So they about to put the whole city on their back, go up to Worcester, get that chip. Because we... They about to get on that field, right? They want to kick that goal, you know why? Because we brought the goal and stop playing. Limister, what? Where's Limister? I don't know. But we know where Brock is, right? All right, definitely. I just want to thank everybody for coming out, representing these gentlemen. They got the city on their back, and they're standing tall because they got me on their back. So you know they got to be strong. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, where's my man, bro? Where's, where's Moses at? Where's his Moses at? Oh, he was hiding. So, look, let's give it up, right? One more time. When I say Brockton, you say champions. Brockton! 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 Let's get it! I want to, uh, it's, it's nice to hear from all of us, but I want to hear from the captains. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You can just say whatever you want, but it's important. No, all three of you guys are going to say something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nothing. We all have to say something. So, you know, as, uh, as Ollie said, you, you didn't believe that whole thing about him being on your backs, right? Because he's a little... <laughs> Ali's a little on the, I'm, a, I'm heavy, but he's a little heavier. So, they got you? They got you. So, I don't, want, I don't want to put any pressure on you guys, but you are representing 100,000 people, so uh, that's not a lot of pressure, but that's a lot of pressure. But you know what? We have all kinds of faith in you guys, and there's no reason why you shouldn't do this. That other team, long horn, long wood, long little stick man, long something, tiny little man, or whatever their name is, they're petrified of you guys. You know, because they know that they're playing a real team from a real city, so, here you go. Hello, my name is Junior, I'm the captain for these boys, and tomorrow, we're going to work hard, and we're going to make the City of Champion proud tomorrow, and we're going to bring it home. Hi, my name is Brendan Gomes. I'm the captain of these men right here. Every day you guys step on the field, every time you guys step on the field, you guys represent you guys as men. You guys play with each other, you guys you guys fight for each other every day. That's why I respect y'all so much and I'm proud to be y'all captain. So we're going out tomorrow, we're going to take that dub. We're going to take this W for the city, we're going to bring it back. Hello, guys. My name is Derek. 
Bunlar şeydi. I don't know what to say. 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 I don't e de espera amanhã, amanhã nessa sala conosco, para o celebro que é isso. Para o trazer para trás. in nine years playing for me. Eight in nine years. This is a group of guys. They're amazing. They're unbelievable. I'm going to make a predi prediction. We are bringing it home tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to tell you the final score, but it's one of these. Oh, yeah. Two. That's for sure. Now, I love these guys. I love the city. I love you too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I really don't know what, what else to say other than. I'll tell you what. The support, the respect that these guys have given me, and given coaches, all of us. You know, like uh, a parent uh, sent me an, uh, an email the other day. That after one of our players knocked the kid down, he went over and helped him out. That is unbelievable. You know, we've always had this bad rap of Brock and Brock and Brock. And you know what? We're a gentleman, gentleman, gentleman. That's all it is. I love you guys. I will be with you tomorrow again. Coming home in that long. <clears throat> Thank you for the coach bus. On the way home, it's going to be a party bus. Well, I really shouldn't say this because I genuinely do love all the teams that represent Brockton High, but this is my favorite, and it's not because they're going to represent us in the state championship. Just how they've come together as a team since August, and how they work together, they support one another, and it's like little things, from them going to study hall, to working out, to you know, getting the extra work in after practice, and hard work pays off, and this is a perfect example of it, and I am just really excited that we get a chance to play for the title. First time in school history that something like this has happened, and I've got a really good vibe about tomorrow. Well, you mentioned it's the first state title possibly in Rockies high history. Talk about what that means to you as a, an athletic director that's been there for just north of a year. Oh, I just think that if this were to happen and we bring home a championship, this just paves the way for, you know, younger soccer players to set these guys in their sights and, you know, these will be the role models for the younger generations to come and play soccer here at the high school and I couldn't think of a better group to set that bar and to bring home the first title and it's a really, really great feeling as an AD, knowing that if you win the last game of the season, there's no more games and we get to raise a banner up in the gym. And that'll be the first time in nine years that any team at the high school has done that in first in history. So it's really, really a, a significant game tomorrow.
no, just take a look over there. I mean, they genuinely like hanging out with each other. They respect and they love their coach. And they're, it, they're almost like a fa They're not like a family. They are a family. And if I could just share with you, they had dinner before we came over here. And it was really neat to see. I mean, they all joined hands right before they ate. And they went around and they all shared what each other meant to them. And it's just little things like that that you don't see very often. And, and this is a, this is a one-of-a-kind team. Go Boxers. Bronco Soccer. Those two names are synonymous in the city of Brockton. Talk about your family. I know your brother, uh, Ernie, may rest in peace. You guys have been big in building this program to be what it is today. We go back to the 70s, the early 70s, when my brother basically started the, um, the Brockton Youth Soccer here in Brockton back in 70, 71, 72. And um, as a 20, 20 year old, uh, and I, I was coaching at the age of uh, 14, 15, and, uh, the younger kids, also from the city of Brockton for the, for the uh, Brockton Youth. And it was just continued on throughout the 70s. Um, and my brother pretty much was involved with. Um, Rockin' High with the girls uh, because of his kids going, uh, playing ball for Rockin' High. And then um, he was at Stone Hill for, for a while. Um, it's just, uh, this to me is just an unbelievable uh, run that these kids are having. Um, I saw last year progressing, and this year they just, uh, they just blew up. It's just, uh, it, it's amazing. I, me, I, I, re I really, to be honest with you, I didn't think they. They lost that game in New, in New Bedford, but unfortunately that's a, that's a loss. But um, they would have had a, 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 a great season. They, they had a wonderful season. It's a beautiful season. That loss kind of hurts you. Um, but I'm telling you, the run that we've had in the playoffs, the the scores, the final scores was 7-1, 6-1s, 4-1s, you know, one nothings. And I, like I said, I'm predicting tomorrow's going to be a big score. <laughs> um, it's been great. It's, it's, it, it's, it's amazing. Thank you. Well, the roller coaster is winding down, the ride's coming to an end. What will the championship mean to the city of Brockton and Brockton soccer? Well, we've never had um, a championship in Brockton for, uh, for the high school uh, in soccer. This, is, this will be the first. Um, it's just amazing. It'll be, you know, I'm kind of, hopefully I'm not talking too pr premature, but I, I think that the banner will be at, at, at the um, at one, um the rafters of the uh, gymnasium. It's 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 due. It's it's we've had the chances to, to, to make this happen years ago, and we've always missed out at the very end. But I think tomorrow is it. I, I, there's there's no ifs and buts about it. I I believe so. All right, three last questions. A couple of them quick. Um, I'm thinking. What, what's your message to the fan base that's been supporting these kids for the last four years and beyond? I'm going to start with Mr. Carroll. He has been unbelievable for these kids. He's done everything and anything possible that he can do with his, uh, with his, in his own power. And uh, Dr. Mari uh, supported him, you know, doing everything at the high school. Whatever they want, they get. It's it's just been unbelievable. And I thank you. I uh, thank them for for that. And uh, I'm sure Superintendent Smith is also supporting them. You know, by you know she was here tonight, and um, it's just been great the support that they've had. The people of the city of Brockton. Uh, I know it's a multicultural city, and I know we have uh, predominantly as a Cape Verdean team, but you know you see people from all walks of life up in those beaches supporting Brockton, and we don't look at just you know Cape Verde or Haitian or whatever. We're looking at Brockton, like Ollie said. This is all about Brockton, and I, I, they're just un unbelievable. Great. Why is this team special? They're my boys. <laughs> um, <laughs> They call me Papa <laughs> at times. Uh, Dad, <laughs> I've been called every name. Papa, Dad, um, you name it. They're, they're just uh, this just special. They're, the respect that they give you, it's just unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's just, I just want to bring them home, to be honest with you. <laughs> I wish I could. They're my, they're my boys. They're great. Uh, give us a message from you to these boys. Like I said, I love you guys. Go out there. All we ask of you is to give us your best. I know you're going to be successful tomorrow. I know you're going to win. I know that for sure. Um, it's not even 99.9. .9, it's 100%. And um, I love you. Enjoy it. Have fun. 
and I know it's going to be a loud, loud ride home tomorrow. <laughs>